Hey everybody, it's story time. I just wanted to tell you a quick story while it's fresh in my mind from last night. We found a little kid, and I should say my, uh, my oldest son found a little kid. <coughs> <coughs> and I, uh, I filmed the experience, but I decided I'm not going to share, you know, a film of a little kid that's lost. Um, I filmed the whole process of the cops showing up and everything. But I'll tell you what happened. My, my wife calls me, she's out shopping, and she calls me to say, Hey, Raceland said that he found a kid walking along Mill Plain. Now, Mill Plain is a main highway out here, and it's a six-lane highway. And there's sidewalks that go right to the, the lane of the road. I mean, it's not a very safe sidewalk overall. But he's, my son's a driver for Uber Eats. So he, he was leaving and he turns out and he goes down Mill Plain and he sees this little kid walking. He says he pulls into a parking lot and he looks around for the kid's parents. There's nobody. I mean, it's nighttime, it's raining and uh, it's cold. He's walking around barefoot or I think he was in socks. And my wife says, yeah, he says he's sitting there and the kid's only like three or something. And he's only like a block from our house at the chiropractor. So I walked down the wrong way. I wasn't sure which way he was. I walked down the street and I looked. I walked down the whole road where he had been walking. Didn't see any adults. Nothing. I come around and I see my son out there. He's sitting there with this little kid. I mean, this kid was... He must have been like two. I mean, he was young. And I... He was happy. He wasn't upset. He wasn't crying or anything. He was that, 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 that. He, he couldn't speak. We asked him his name. He didn't know his name or where he's from or anything. He was wearing one gold chain, a necklace around that had a little medallion, a little charm that said, I, I believe he said it said Guam. So I think he, you know, may have, his parents may be from Guam. We didn't see anybody in the area. There are houses up the street, but there's really no one in the area where he was found. I have no idea where he came from. And I felt so, so grateful that my son, he, he had delayed leaving or, or because he was going to leave earlier. Uh, he never would have seen the kid otherwise. The kid's just walking along the sidewalk a couple feet from the traffic. And this, you know, three lanes going each direction. And people drive fast on that road. And thank God he found him. So I walked up with my other, my young son, the eight-year-old son. And, and we all kind of talked with the kid and kept him busy while we waited for the cops to show up. The cops show up and we talk to them and uh, explain the situation. Then uh, <clears throat> the kid, uh, he was just so excited. They turned the lights on to say if a parent's drive by looking for him or something, at least they'll see the lights on the cop car. But they never came. And then like three other, two or three other cop cars showed up. And I'm, I'm anxious or, you know, I'm always a little bit anxious when I've got cops around me. But, uh... We, we talked with them for a minute, and then my son took off to go to work, and then I went home with my son, walked back home. We were just a block from there. And uh, as before we left, you know, I had filmed the cops. There's like six cops standing around, one of them holding this kid, because uh, my son had been holding the kid, and then he passed it over to the cops. They were just like, he was so enthralled. He's looking at the, the lights reflecting off the rocks, and da, 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 da. And it was one of those heartwarming moments where, you know, I've had my issues with cops, all right? I, but I don't hold it against them. I don't hate cops. Just because my experience has been negative sometimes doesn't mean that I haven't had a lot of great experiences talking with police. And of course I trust them when it comes to a kid. But uh, it's, it's one of those weird moments where you are encountered with a, a strange situation, a lost kid. And you start to think about how scary it is to get lost. When I was... I don't remember how old I was. I'm going to guess from what I remember being told about it, I was maybe five years old or something. My aunt, I think, took me to a picnic. And it was out on the edge of the woods, and we were in this picnic area, and I guess I wandered off into the woods. And they couldn't find me. They, they sent out a whole bunch of people looking for me, and they freaked out. I don't recall. My mom told me the story. Or, and, and she said you were gone for, you know, in, in, until eventually, after hours had passed, I came walking back out of the woods. And the classic, you know, the question, you know, that I guess I was asked was, how, uh, you know, how did you get back? How did you find your way back? And I said, uh, apparently, I looked down and said, I said, happy feet, 
take me home. So that was my, my famous claim to my, my being lost once. That's the only time I recall being lost. Uh, and uh, it's scary, not for the kids necessarily, but for the parents. Everybody else is going nuts and you're just wandering around in the woods, just oblivious to everyone's fears. Um, I find it, 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 it's pretty humorous. It's not always because kids don't always make it back out, but I did. And uh, fortunately he didn't wander out in traffic. All he had to do was just step out in the lane. And I don't know how much I believe in fate or chance, but, you know, my son being there at the right time, he did a good thing. He may have saved the kid's life, you know. It may have been an ambulance instead of a cop car. And, uh, yeah, gratitude, gratitude. Anyhow, just wanted to share that story with y'all. So, hope you enjoyed. And uh, I'll talk to you next time. Be well.